Hello students, good morning. We are discussing about transport in plants under plant physiology. Today our topic is inhibition. How plants absorb water molecules from one region to another region, from soil to plant body. So it is a two types that is shorter distance transport system and long distance transport system. We are discussing about in a short distance track transport system in that diffusion facilitated diffusion active transport passive transport and also osmosis yesterday we are completed plasmolysis plasmolysis today our topic is imbibition imbibition means hydrophilic substances hydrophilic substances they absorb water molecules and its volume increases hydrophilic substances absorb water molecules result of that it its volume is increases that is called imbibition imbibition is nothing but it is a special type of diffusion it is a special type of diffusion imbibition is a special type of diffusion hydrophilic substances they absorb water molecules they absorb water molecules and its volume is increased hydrophilic substances absorb water molecules like best example is solids and colloids hydrophilic substances like solids and colloids they absorb water molecules and result of that increases its volume it increases its volume best example for imbibition is seeds dry seeds and dry wood dry seeds and dry wood dry seeds contain little amount of water molecules seeds contain dry seed contain little amount of water molecules and dry wood there is no water so it means concentration gradient is more in between water and seed water and dry wood so imbibition occur or depends on concentration gradient imbibition depends on concentration gradient if concentration gradient is more then absorption of water molecules also more so absorption of seeds and dry woods best example seed contains little amount of water molecules and dry wood contains no water no water molecules in it so it leads to swelling of wood and it's it is used by prehistoric man so when water absorbed by seeds and dry wood it leads to swelling it leads to swelling at that time it has some amount of pressure that pressure used by prehistoric man to split rocks and boulders to split rocks and boulders prehistoric man uses that imbibition pressure to split rocks and boulders పాత కాలంలో ప్రీహిస్టోరిక్ కాలంలోనే మనకు పెద్ద పెద్ద దిమ్మలను అంటే చెక్క దిమ్మలను రాతి గుండెను పగలగొట్టడానికి ఈ ఇమిబిషన్ ప్రెజర్ను యూజ్ చేస్తారు దానికి చిన్న హోల్ చేసి ఆ హోల్లో వాటర్ పోయడం అంటే చెక్క దిమ్మలను పెట్టి వాటర్ పోస్తూ ఉంటే ఆ చెక్క వాటర్ను అబ్జార్బ్ చేసుకొని ఏం చేస్తుంది స్వెల్లింగ్ జనరల్ గోస్ స్వెల్లింగ్ దెన్ దట్ ఇట్ ఇట్ షోస్ ప్రెజర్ దట్ ప్రెజర్ స్పిట్స్ రాక్స్ అండ్ బౌల్డర్స్ ఇట్ స్పిట్స్ rocks and boulders so by using imbibition pressure seedlings emerge out of the soil so at the time of seed germination seed germination seed absorbs water molecules and it undergoes swelling at that at time at that time it contains a pressure more pressure by using that pressure seed emerge out of the soil emerge out of the soil so by using that in pressure seedlings emerge out of the soil into the open emerge out that is imbibition pressure so in in here different type of organic substances have different imbibing capacities a different type of organic substances have different imbibing capacities so proteins have more imbibing capacities than carbohydrates proteins have more imbibing capacities than carbohydrates so that's why proteinaceous pea seeds pea seeds belongs to family fabaceae fabaceae plants contains more proteins so that 
it pea plant contains a protein so, so that it absorb more water and shows more swelling and carbohydrate then carbohydrates so starchy wheat wheat contains starch substances so that starch contains less imbibing capacity it absorb less water molecules and it shows less swelling when comparing to pea seeds pea seeds so that proteinaceous pea seeds more swell than starchy wheats starchy wheats and here seeds and dry wood we are discussing about dry seeds and dry wood varsha kalamlo manaku varsham baga pannapudu em avutundante ee chekka talupulanu ante wood doors ni open cheyadam close cheyadam could be a little bit difficult to close and open during rainy season so that is the, because of that imbibition imbibition so imbibition requires water potential gradient water potential gradient in between adsorbent and liquid adsorbent and liquid so here dry seed it contains little amount of water molecules and soil contains more water so in between soil and and uh, seed more it contains more water potential gradient so that easily imbibition occur so it means imbibition requires water potential gradient and also not only that affinity also require affinity means here hydrophilic substances hydrophilic water ni ishta pade water no water it's like water molecules that's why those other so colors those are called as hydrophilic substances it likes water molecules that is nothing but affinity so for imbibition it requires water potential gradient and also affinity in between adsorbent and liquid in between adsorbent and liquid when there is gradient and affinity then it shows more imbibition more imbibition this is about imbibition in plant transport system